everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Xenosaga episode two. We just kicked the snot out of Orgula, a character who I'm pretty sure half of the people who first played this game had no idea who she was because she sort of shows up out of nowhere. You can see her in the background of a few other cutscenes, but you know like next to nothing about her. But either way, killing her did something, I think. Oh, wait. No, I'm supposed to actually knock something out in her room. Oops! <laughs> I think I am supposed to actually just store something in the room, and I just did it because I'm dumb. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't played this game in a while. Leave me alone. <laughs> but I'm paranoid, so I'm going to go check anyway. Because of course I am. My rabbits are being super cute right now. They're cuddling in the corner. Jelly. Jelly in my buns. And, as you can see, I was correct! Bonk! Yeah, I forgot I had to actually break those. <laughs> I borked it! Granted, I probably should have done that before, like, after the fight, but before this stuff. Unless it gets rid of the save point. I don't know if it does or not. I guess we'll see. If all of the water gets rid of the save points. As we slowly walk up these stairs of way too big in this. <laughs> okay, come on, cozy. I do have to say, these areas... While obviously way too goddamn just spacious and big, they still did a good job making it look pretty. Cause like the, the water looks pretty even though it's just a texture file. And so you can tell cause if you look at where the water actually meets that cube, it's just a straight texture file. There's not even any wave to it. Okay, there is still a save point. I'm just gonna save now. And now we blow everything up. I love blowing things up. Cutscene. And of course, no dialogue. This looks like the center of the stronghold. And luckily enough, it comes with a self destruct device. Why <laughs> does everything have a self destruct device? That's such a stupid thing to add. Alright, let's light it up and blow this thing to hell. We'll show them. And puzzle. So I think what I gotta do is get fire to the end. There's a button with instructions, read the instructions. The four detonators in the center of the room must be ignited simultaneously. Set the switches to adjust the fuse length, then press the ignition button. Okay, so I can move these. And I'm guessing I can't go past the red is my assumption. Oh, no, no, it just moves those. Oh, okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So we need it to reach at the same time. So I need these two to go quickly. Which I may want this. Yeah. But I want these ones to lag. Yes? No, I want this one to lag, so this one needs to stay. No, wait, that, that would go too quickly, so can I push it this way? There we go. So that one's gonna take the longest time. That'll go all the way across. But this one's longer than this one, so do I want to hit this one? For the bigger one. I'm gonna try that and see if how much I have to tweak it. There's a button within the uh, press the ignition button. Oh shit, I got him on the first try! Yes! Okay, this place is going up in 30 minutes. Let's get out of here and get back to the Elsa. Da da da! Self-destruct. Self-destruct. 
Scotty. Get the fuck up! We got 30 minutes to GT ya! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way back we can because fuck your backtracking. <laughs> oh, video games. We do have 30. The self destruct sequence has been activated. Please proceed to the bottom platform. <laughs> Except for the fact that the bot. The any fight in this game takes way too long. There was that self-destruct sequence at the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. Sure, that one was relatively simple because the random battles didn't take too long. Oh, there's more monsters. However, these ones do take a long time. Comparatively, and I don't know if the timer actually stops. Get the fuck out! Long elevator. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Hi! Oh tits! I can't get around you, can I? That's why I can't- Yep, it is- it does still go! At least it has why the good sense to, this? like, stop. Ah, fuck. Okay, fine. I'm probably super out of uh, touch from the music when I do that, but whatever, I don't even care no more. Gotta get out of here before I get myself shot in the face. So? Oh, you guys probably all noticed. We won! The Cosmos is in a swimsuit now. This is one of my files from back when I was in high school. Way back when that I pulled out because it was just, I had more shit done and I wouldn't have to grind as much. Sorry, not sorry. But it also means that I now have the swimsuits for the characters. <laughs> so yes, Cosmos has a gosh darn swimsuit that for some reason is super covering in the front and it's like no front. covering in the back. Because logic. Also, I don't have time for your, for your stupid fight. I got shit to do. Can I just run away? I want to just run away. <laughs> Because I have so much more of of the Ormus stronghold to get through, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not. I mean, okay, fuck you. <laughs> and I'm gonna run away again. There is a chance I can slip past no it. Time for wusses like you. Yeah, I don't got time for this. I have 24 minutes to get out of here. I got shit to do. You fuck monkey! Okay, fine. So, look at the timer. That's how long it took for me to get out of this one room. And I only did like three fights, I think? Three or four? Something like that? I don't know, man. See, I mean, they have to get their ESs, but part of me is just like, just jump off here and go through the hole to space. Also, since that hole cut through the entirety of the stronghold during the uh, Pelum and Scutum fight with Richard, it should be sucking everything into space right now because we saw the beam and the little FMV during the fight go all the way out into space. Oh, also, the funny way that she walks. <laughs> I haven't brought that up yet, but she walks really funny. <laughs> hey, come on. I guess this is the reason why we have the shortcut here, but... I don't know, man. I don't know shit. I'ma just slide. Whee! Cause I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Cause we're blowing this joint. Not, not, not smoking it though. We're not smoking the joint. We're just, we're just blowing it. That just doesn't make that sound any better, does it? <laughs> just, there's no way to make that sound better. Okay, we're almost back to DS's. You think that the moment they got onto the ESs and go into the next room after that, since at that point you are technically in space, they would just fly off the stronghold to get to the Elsa instead of following the pathways to get to the Elsa. They would just fly up and over because then they would get away from the uh, get away from all of 
the monsters between here and the Elsa. But why am I? Oh, right. This is an old save file. Um, I'm just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll do. No. Yes. There we go. There's. There's my party. There's my party. Gotta have my Dina. There we go. Cause Dina is the best ES. I don't care what all, what anyone says about Asher being better or or Zebaloon or any of the other ones. No, no, it's Dina. Oh, hey, cutscene. Hi. I should have saved. Oh fuck. Really? Hi, Pellegrin. Neither my subordinates nor the Patriarch's toys are of any use. The Inquisition will not allow you to escape. I didn't save. I don't surrender. I repeat, disengage your weapons and surrender. I didn't save. I didn't save. Oh crap. Oh fuck. Oh crap. Oh fuck. Oh, I didn't save. I should have saved. I didn't save. Okay, we just be very, very careful. All right, this should be it. Should be dead. There we go. I killed it. Sorry, Pellegree. <laughs> I actually quite like Pellegree as a character, but it's like you do. It's like you do. All right. Hi, Pellegree. <laughs> Just know that there's no time limit now. How you doing, Pellegree? You should probably GTFO. Just saying. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't allow you to escape. I don't think you have a choice. This fortress has already begun to disintegrate. It's only a matter of time before it's swallowed by the abyss. It'll be a fitting memorial to you. I suggest you spend your final moments praying for a peaceful slumber. <laughs> the lag makes her voice even creepier. Okay, bye. Like, I can't let you leave. She, um, I recommend a but swift she, retreat. But she bailed. This structure will not hold much longer. But she can't stop me. I know. Let's hurry on back to the Elsa. Then stop talking. Start moving. Also, again, fly straight up. You guys are in freaking mechs in space. You guys are in freaking mechs in freaking space. <laughs> hurry, Captain. We're going to be holes into the abyss with the fortress. Shut up, I know. Tony, <laughs> what's up? It's no good, Captain. The logical drive was damaged in the battle. We don't have enough thrust. Hammer! I'm working on it. Damn, thrust is down 40%. It's no good. She's still dropping. What the? Who the hell slammed the ship into this place anyway? You? Well, it was the Captain's idea, but Tony, you're the one who did the slamming. True. Shut up! Quit your bitching and do something already! You wanna die here? I love they finally let Captain Matthews swear. I love it. I love that they finally let him freaking swear. Good your bitchin'! <laughs> like, most JRPGs don't pull out the word bitch. But this one does. And I find it hilarious. Gotta go! Let's try to go! Uh, uh, we're losing it, Captain! We can't get away! At this rate, we're not gonna last another minute! Time to be awesome, Cosmos! Is it Cosmos Awesome Time? Damn. So this is it. LOL! Oh wait, no, it's the Durandal. Hey, right? what the hell's going on? Uh, Captain, look! Uh, it's the Durandal! <laughs> wait, it's the wait, Durandal. wait. We were fucking sent. We were fucking... Like, the Elsa and the crew there was freaking sent by the Kukai Foundation when they were just gonna come themselves anyway. What? <laughs> oh, game. Elsa recovery confirmed. The ship appears to have a damaged logical drive and is incapable of flying under its own power. They were gonna well, come themselves. At least what? now we can relax. Hey, Mary. <laughs> the oh, two dancing in the background. Master, thank goodness you're okay. What the heck are you guys doing here anyway? What? We came here to rescue you. 
Yeah, and I'm grateful for that. But don't you think your timing was a little too perfect? It's a little. Master Guinan instructed us to come here. He said if we let the little master handle everything, he was bound to do something reckless. About hey, that. It looks like he was right, huh? Ah, he's always treating me like a kid. So, where's the big shot at you now? Do you look anyway? like you're 13? <laughs> Master Guinan said he had important business to take care of. He took off for the Federation capital. Fifth Jerusalem? What's he doing there at a time like this? Jeez. And he's calling me reckless. Yeah, so now we're on the Durandal. <laughs> Elsa recovery complete. Alright, let's go back to the Foundation at max speed. If we hang around here, we're gonna get sucked into the abyss too. I was about to like, we gotta go. To, we gotta go to Milsha. Oh wait, we can't go to Milsha because we crashed the Elsa. Let's go back with the way we came. <laughs> the padding. The padding. I mean, I I, I adore this game. I don't want y'all to think I don't. I absolutely adore this game, but oh my god, sometimes you're like, but what? But why? <laughs> oh wait, no, I want, yeah. Uh, this also does mean, though, that Ormus is definitely getting the Milsha before us. <laughs> Hi, Guinan, how you doing? <laughs> Lady Pains! Hi, Streen. How you doing? You're just like us. Like you? Code name: Red Dragon. A useful yet dangerous creature with the potential to lose control. Our duty is to manage and subdue the Red Dragon's violent nature. Sorry, my junior. Obviously. Don't you think it's strange? The way you don't react to the Udu simulator? Oh, you don't mean. That's right. Red dragon. Red and precious. How you doing, Guinan? Just having some issues. Gregor, come here. <laughs> That's terrifying. No, I'm abandoning my mission. Where did you get that gun? <laughs> Uh oh. I wonder what that could mean. Of course, I know exactly what it means, obviously, but I'm not going to say it. So, what's the enemy's status? I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The immigrant fleet has already descended into Milsha. <laughs> Damn! We don't have much time. If we don't hurry, we're gonna lose the Zohar! Move the Elsa into the Foundation's dock. Have it repaired to Captain Matthew's specifications. We're going right back out! Little Master, there's a transmission from Helmer. Shall I accept it? Yeah. I love Look Mary and Shelley. Especially because it's a reference to Frankenstein. But the, the two of them are just so- th I just like them so much. Especially because they're Guinan's women and they're always hanging off them and it's just, it's just funny. Helmer- Hey Helmer! I'm sorry. We let them get ahead of us. It's ooh, man. It's alright. It's more important that you're safe. I'm glad you made it back. So, what's the situation now? I'm afraid the news is grim. It seems the Ooh, Parliament do. has been thrown into complete disarray. What's going on with the Federation fleet? Don't tell me they're just standing around watching. No, they've already been deployed on a descent mission, but it's too late. As long as the possibility exists that the enemy already has the Zohar, the Federation can't make any large-scale overtures. So I guess it's up to us now. I'm acutely aware of the danger, but 
There's no one else we can turn to right now. Please lend us your aid. All right. We'll get the Zohar. You can count on it. I just have to do everything. God damn it. <laughs> everything. Everything. We gotta do everything on our own. Can't get the help of the government. Nope. Nope. Can't trust the government. Nope. Okay. Hey, Mary. Make sure you can't go. You can't go riding in the risk of the Randall, and I get him back and get safe. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to Milsha. I'm gonna go to Milsha and trigger that because you get access to a whole bunch of side quests now, but you also get access to a whole bunch the moment you land on Milsha to fight the fact you can just turn around and come back. So, whatevs. Aw, they're so cute! Mass produced 100 series observational unit. They don't even get to have names. That's so rude. <laughs> okay, let's go to Elsa. Where would you like to go? Uh, dock. Part of me really did miss this game. I haven't done a full, like, start to finish of the series in so long. When back when I was in high school, I used to have like an I used to have an entire memory card devoted to Xenosaga. And that was because um, I would save before every major cutscene area. So I would save before the Orgula fight, I would save before this, that, and the other fight. And I would do it specifically um, so I could just load the cutscenes and play them. Because they didn't get a cutscene viewer or an FMV viewer until. Um, until Xenosaga 3. Also, Xenosaga 3 is the one I played the most, but they didn't get a cutscene beer until Xenosaga 3, right? So for Xenosaga 1 and 2, I had to have separate saves for every major cutscene I really like so I could just load a save and play it. There's something in here. Oh, maybe it's later. Um, that's how much I love this game growing up. I played it way too much. Every version of Cosmos is on my cosplay list. Granted, I haven't done much cosplay in the last few years because of the class, but you know, Cosmos is definitely a dream cosplay of mine. Specifically, the one from the third game, because there's just so much fun with all of her costumes. Hey, Cannon! How you doing? You want to get into Milsha Talk, Matthews? Matthews! Damon, I just had the ship remodeled and it got wrecked again. At least that old man who joined the crew could fix it. About that. <laughs> He probably put some Erde Kaiser in the ship. Okay, Tony, hit it! Okay, let's go to Milsha. Going to Milsha. It's good to see you awake again, Dr. Yuriev. Yeah! Sorry I'm late. I didn't think it would take this long for me to recover. How's the situation? Extremely chaotic, sir. The Federation's grown tired over the past 14 years, and many unstable factions have arisen. And Udu? Fourteen years ago, one of the URTVs made partial contact with it, causing a medium-scale space-time anomaly alteration. Since then, it's been obstructed by two black holes. Even now, we cannot confirm the state of its existence. All right. Ready my forces. I'll contact you again shortly. Yes, sir. By the way, how are you feeling? I heard your old body was disposed of. I feel great. There's only so much lifespan extension one can achieve. But now I'm fine, thanks to my son. <laughs> that is, the son who killed me. Yes, Guinan killed Dr. Yuryev, but he all, uh, Dr. Yuryev specifically made Guinan, or Negredo, to be his second self. So yes, Dr. Yuryev is currently possessing Guinan, and yes, it's going to cause much angst. Mostly in the third game, but it, yeah. Most of the angst that coming from that revelation comes in the third game. But yeah, poor, poor, poor oh, Guinan. wow. The capital looks just like it used to. How the hell would you know? <laughs> Everything's 
exactly like it was then. Time has stopped in this world. The country of the Hills of Mud. The land of Mu was sacrificed. Are you quoting scripture again, Chaos? Being twice upheaved, it suddenly disappeared in one night. At last the surface gave way, and they sank, along with their countries. What's that? A fairy tale. A story about a land that vanished into the sea one night long ago. Atlantis. He's talking about Atlantis. So it's not really scripture. Sacrifice. It definitely feels like it. Just looking at this place. Yes, it does. They don't even show us it, though. They don't even show us Attention, Milsham Attention, passengers. Above. We'll soon be arriving at the designated coordinates. There's no way we're gonna get any further in this big hunk of metal. So if you want to check inside any of those buildings, you're gonna have to do it on your own. All right. Rude. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Though logically, you could just I don't want to fly spend straight too much to time here, you know. So he's. We can't get any close to this big hunk of metal. You are in a spaceship. You're going to Labyrinthos. Labyrinthos is the tower. Fly the ship to the tower. Why do I keep poking holes in watching video games? I don't know, man. Alright, let's finish this! This area used to be the capital of Old Milsha. The area up ahead was ground zero 14 years ago. It was filled with UTIP organization facilities. The area they handled the most important research was... Labyrinthos. The original Zohar should still be sleeping deep inside it. Rubido, your objective is, secure, is to secure the original Zohar, correct? Yeah, Xion. Xion, are you alright? What? Ah, yes. Cecily and Kath may be there as well. Obviously. Hmm? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. Now we can finally analyze the data in my head. <laughs> that line! <laughs> yes, we should hurry. I agree. The immigrant fleet should already be here, but it's really quiet. That has me worried. Oh shit. And I think if I just talk to... Of course I want... Yeah. So we can go back to, uh... We can go back to the Durandal and to the Kukai Foundation and to Second Milsha to do all kinds of side quests now. Because, uh... Second Milsha is the final dungeon. Sort of. Labyrinthos is the final dungeon. But the lead up to Labyrinthos, uh, Second Milsha is also part of it. Uh, this world is so gloomy, according to Milsha. Milsha was once a beautiful planet. Oh, we'll see that later. And of course, we have to first go on the ESs, because I think we go on the ESs until we get to Labyrinthos. God, I have not played this game in so long. <laughs> I've played so much more of 1 and 3 than I have of 2. Yeah! There's, there's Milsha! Submerged city. So yeah, we're on Milsha. And that is where I'm going to end it. Because this is the perfect opportunity for me to do a shit ton of side questing off screen. So my name is Miss Garda Tanager, and I have been playing some Zeno Saga episode 2. Jen Sietz von Gut in Bus. I'm pronouncing that terribly, but I'll see you all in the next video.